The flames are out, but the investigation continues into this large house fire in Mount Juliet. News Channel 5, Sophie Nielsen Colding has been following the latest all night for us on scene. And Sophie, uh, was anybody hurt? Anybody at home in the fire? They didn't think anybody was home when the fire started, but no one's been able to get in touch with the guy who lives here. While we were just standing by just now, a neighbor came out and I asked him if he knew if anybody had been able to get in contact with him. And he shook his head and said no. Look at how much damage is done to this house. It looks fine from the outside, but you can see right through those windows and see that it's just black and destroyed in there. This is what the house fire looked like around last night. A neighbor called it in around 730 because of heavy smoke coming out of the home. Firefighters were fighting it, but it was difficult for them um, because there was so much stuff inside. They actually had to go in through the brick wall and under through the floor. They think the flames actually were in a crawl space underneath the floor. And we talked to the fire ch chief and he said there was one factor, possibly a habit of this homeowner, uh, possibly hoarding, and that really made it difficult for his crews. Not so much the fire conditions or the smoke conditions, but the amount of stuff. They were, they were met basically, uh, they said they were able to make it about five feet inside the front door and they couldn't get any further. His firefighters were so exhausted and fatigued from fighting this for so many hours. They said they used about every tool and saw that they had available to them to cut into the house, cut through that brick wall to try to get at the flames. They actually had to call in the Mount Juliet Fire Department to help them finally getting this fire out last night. Uh, in Wilson County, Sophie Nelson Colding, News Channel 5.